to the Hickory Christmas Show this weekend at the Hickory Metro Convention Center. Tickets available at the door or online at hickorychristmasshow.com. The individuals depicted have been arrested but not convicted at the time of story postings. This information does not infer or imply guilt of any actions or activity other than their arrest. We make no warranty or guarantee as to the accuracy of this data. Welcome back. This is the WHKY News, and it's time now for today's Crime Report. I'm Ralph Mangum. WHKY's Ariana Mack gets us started this time with information on a recent operation conducted by the Burke County Sheriff and other agencies. Multiple suspects were arrested in a Burke County law enforcement operation. The late November initiative entitled Bring the Chill included the Burke County Sheriff's Office, the NC Department of Adult Corrections Community, Corrections, Probation and Parole, and United States Marshals Service. The operation focused on ensuring that high-risk offenders are complying with court-ordered conditions while also gaining information regarding narcotics activity, gang activity, and ensuring sex offender compliance. During the operation, probation officers, assisted by officers from the above-listed agencies, conducted compliance checks on offenders currently on supervised probation. At the conclusion of the operation, three suspects were arrested, two on felony charges. 51-year-old Gregory Matthew Leatherman of Ruth Drive in Hickory is charged with felony counts of trafficking opium or heroin, possession with intent to manufacture, sell, and deliver Schedule II controlled substance and post-release violation. He was jailed under no bond following the arrest. 38-year-old Calvin Clifford Atcuff III of Atacoa Drive in Glen Alpine is charged with felony post-release violation. He was incarcerated without bond. Leatherman's next court date is set for December 13th. No court date was listed for Atcuff. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana. 45-year-old Anthony Gene Embley Jr. of Atmore, Alabama was arrested on November 30th by troopers with the North Carolina State Highway Patrol on a felony warrant as a fugitive awaiting extradition to another state. He is wanted in Escambia County, Alabama for enticing a child to enter a vehicle, house, etc. for immoral purposes and two counts of sexual abuse. Following his arrest, Embley was jailed in Catawba County without bond. The first appearance in district court was set for December 2nd in Newton. 41-year-old Marcus Don Zimmerman of Statesville was arrested in Alexander County on November 25th on felony counts of possession of methamphetamine and possession with intent to manufacture, sell, or deliver meth. Zimmerman was placed in the Alexander County Detention Center under a $10,000 secured bond. He is no longer listed in custody. A district court appearance in Taylorsville was set for December 9th. Zimmerman was also arrested in Iredell County in October and charged with felony counts of possession with intent to sell or deliver meth and maintaining a vehicle or dwelling for a controlled substance. At the time of that arrest, Zimmerman was wearing an ankle monitor in connection with a domestic violence incident earlier in the month. In that case, he was charged with assault by strangulation. Zimmerman will appear in an Iredell County courtroom on February 10th. With information on a pair of Catawba County arrests, here's Rob Eastwood. A Mecklenburg County resident faces multiple charges filed here in Catawba County. The suspect is charged with offenses including cocaine possession and having drugs at a jail. He's also charged with a domestic violence count. The suspect was placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility in Newton following his arrest. 29-year-old Liam Garrett Olson of Charlotte was arrested by Hickory Police. He's charged with felony possession of cocaine, possession of controlled substance on prison or jail premises, and domestic violence protective order violation. Following the Monday morning arrest, Olson was incarcerated in the Catawba County Detention Facility under $5,000 bond as he awaited a district court date the same day. 25-year-old Anthony Allen Blanco of Fifth Avenue Northeast in Hickory was arrested Saturday by Newton police. He's charged with felony breaking and entering with intent to terrorize or injure, along with misdemeanor counts of assault on a female and simple assault. Following the arrest, Blanco was placed in the Catawba County Detention Facility without bond as he awaited a Monday district court date in Newton. Reporting from Hickory for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood. Thanks, Rob, and thank you all for your support of the Crime Report. Now, for WHKY, I'm Ralph Mangum, reminding you to keep it clean and keep it legal.